So normally when we paint any subject, we're going to have the best results if we paint in a rapid manner. And so then the composition sort of develops as we go along. However, when you are learning a subject, it's really best to take it step by step. And I think because this is a more complicated composition, we're going to do exactly that. We will start with this flower, do the base, go to this flower, and then this flower, and then we're going to start adding leaves and then go to the final two flowers, okay? So that's where we're headed. <laughs> and I've decided to use my Northern Wolf Big Idea brush instead of the large orca bamboo because I want my flowers to be a little bit smaller than the ones I painted before. Okay. So still doing the same procedure, keeping my color hopefully more at the tip of the brush, removing the excess moisture, and then for that top flower, which is tending towards the left. So I'm going to be keeping that in mind, and I'll be doing a wipe down, and then another, and then maybe something a little bit lower and then off to the side, bringing that in. And then you'll remember at the base, what we did was our no pressure, press down, and then release stroke. And I added just another little press down right there. Okay, so that's pretty much the form for that flower. Now. If you want to, on the second flower, you could do, since we're painting the back of the flower, using the same brush and a sap green, you could paint the three strokes that form the back of the flower, and that is no pressure, press, and release. And then the same thing, no pressure, press, and release. And I see that I'm, I've got my flower up way too high. So, me bad. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not going to start over. I shall continue on. And while I have this on my brush, I'm going to do this section for this flower, and then I would dry my brush, dry, 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 and then just get that going on. I would have liked it if it were a little bit rougher. And then I'll go to my perlene green, as long as I'm in this neighborhood, just at the tip of the brush and get those little strokes. And it continues downward. Okay. Well, I don't know what I was thinking, but this should have been way down about here. But <laughs> that's, that's just like life. We just, that's one of those oh well situations. <laughs> oh well, why did I do that? I thought I was thinking. Hmm, perhaps not. Okay, and then if our strokes go over, it doesn't matter. Just get some quick stuff going on. And maybe get something here 
Okay, so that'll all gushy mushy together. And now I have one more here. Did I say gushy mushy? Okay, did you write that down? <laughs> okay, so now we have here, we have almost a side view, not quite. And here we have a back view. And this time for this one, it's going to be an open. The uh, morning glory is much more open. And then here, you could either go from the top to the bottom. If you go from the top to the bottom, you'll get this happening. And if you, in other words, your flying white will be at the bottom. Whereas if, if you go from the bottom to the top, it'll be more at the top. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave that pretty much alone. And didn't I say at this point we'd be doing leaves? Yes, I did say that. Okay, but I see a bud and I don't want to forget anything. So I see there's a bud right about here or maybe <laughs> I'm not very good at eyeballing, am I? This is definitely revealing my shortcomings. So on to our leaves. I got some of my burnt sienna going. Mushing and gushing. And uh, so, you know, it's hard for one to remember <laughs> what you had for breakfast, let alone what color you used. Okay, I'm going to tip to neutral tint, work that up, and then I'm tipping to my green. I have no idea what this is going to look like. I see that there's a leaf off to the side. And this is uh, really one half of a mum leaf that's turning upward. So the tip is here and you push up, pull back, and then repeat that at a much higher point. Can you see how much higher that brush is? And pull back. Notice the tip did not go past here. This is all the heel of the brush, very important. Okay, so I'm going to try and get the same amount of leaves going on. So here, you know that wonderful heart-shaped leaf? Oh, that's an interesting color. Oh. Okay, that's um, interesting. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the detailing for my flowers and get a deeper blue. Remember, the touch is very light, very, very, you're barely, barely grazing the paper. Really, it's really important. Whoops, <laughs> maybe not quite so light. And remember, we don't have to stay within the initial shape that we created. We can go outside of it, which is wonderful. Okay, I think this is probably enough for here. That's enough for that one. Moving on.
Oops. And again, if you've lost your center, you can just do a lot of this line work in the interior. Okay. Okay. So just get some quick strokes here. Like so. And then these would also go upward. Like so. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you want, you could even, if the yellow isn't showing up fabulous, fabulous, you could add maybe a couple of green strokes here and there. There's my sap green. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do there. I don't want to monkey too much. Now, for the veining, before my leaves get too terribly dry, and then I'll be really sad. Okay, sap green, I'm going to mix it with a bit of perlene green so I get a darker tone. Dry, 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 dry that brush. Okay, and then you know very quickly we're going to vein these. Like so. Just as quick as we can. I just don't want to take this too seriously. Okay, almost, almost done. Almost, almost, almost. All right, so this is just hanging in space. So we're going to have to get that on its low tendril. So that would connect over here. And as I told you before, we want to remember that this is a vine, and vines just love to search. They're on a search and hang on mission, so they're continually looking for something to grab onto. They just love, love, love that. Let's continue this guy down here, maybe, and we can have some offshoots like so. Maybe even do another well what do you know I think I did it thank you for watching if you've enjoyed and learned from this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that way you don't miss any of the videos when they come out. So comment below if there's a subject you'd like to see me paint. And if you want to start your own brush painting journey, click on the Join Nan Ray's Online Class button to learn more about my live online classes. It's so much fun and you'll learn so much, I guarantee. So thank you again for watching and I wish you so much joy.